Hey, what's up everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to reset your controllers on RetroPie. So this is going to wipe out all of your input configuration settings on RetroPie and give you a fresh start. So if you're dealing with issues where controllers are mismapped or they're not loading in correctly into games, maybe you're getting some error messages, maybe you're just losing control of your controller as soon as you load into a game. There's a bunch of weird sort of glitchy issues that can occur with your input configurations. So this is going to totally reset everything, wipe out those errors and give you a brand new slate to go ahead and remap your controllers. So we're gonna jump into this. I'll walk you guys through the entire process. Let's jump into it. All right, so once we've booted up into RetroPie, you're going to navigate to your configuration options page. Typically that's going to be your collection that has either Raspberry Pi or RetroPie logo on it. In this case here, we have both. So I'm going to jump in here, and now you're gonna see a bunch of different options on this list. You're going to navigate down to RetroPie Setup. Once this loads in, what we're going to do is we are going to navigate down to Configuration Tools, and then from here, we're going to look for emulation station. So for me, it's down quite a ways down here. So we'll go ahead and select emulation station. It's going to load in. And right at the top there, it says clear slash reset emulation station input configuration. So we're going to select that option. Here it's going to say, are you sure you want to reset the emulation station controller configuration? This will wipe all controller configs for ES and it will prompt to reconfigure on next start. So we're going to confirm this as yes, as long as we are positive that we want to reset all of our controllers. So we're going to confirm that with yes. Here it's just going to confirm that it has reset all of our configurations on here. So our controllers, once we back out of this, are no longer going to work. So that means that we need to back out of this a very specific way. Otherwise, if we just hit our back button multiple times, we're going to end up back where we started, but we're going to have no control over any of our screens here anymore. So I'm gonna confirm this with okay here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to cancel. I'm gonna select cancel. I'm going to now select back from this screen. And now down at the bottom, you can see the final option on this list is perform reboot. So we're gonna go down there and we are going to select perform reboot. If we were to move over and hit exit, it's going to exit us out of RetroPie setup, bring us back to our main menu. And from there, we're going to have no control over our controller anymore. So what we would have to do at that point is do a hard reset on our Raspberry Pi, and we would have to just cut the power to it. And we really don't want to shut down our system that way because we can run into card corruptions. So I'm going to go ahead and select perform reboot and reboot our entire system here. It's going to ask us to just confirm that this is in fact exactly what we want to do. I'm just going to confirm it with yes and our reboot is going to begin. All right, so here we are rebooting our system. Once we reboot and everything loads in, we're going to come to this welcome page here. And I still have my controller plugged in so you can see it reads as one gamepad detected, but everything has been totally reset. So we're gonna just hold down any button on our gamepad controller. It's going to advance us into the mapping page here and we can begin remapping our controller. And from there, we'll be able to access RetroPie. It'll bring us right back into our fully booted up system. And we can go and add additional controllers if we want, or if we just want one controller, then we'll be able to, at that point, start diving into all of our games. All right, guys, you saw firsthand exactly what you need to do to reset your controllers on RetroPie. It's a really simple process. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. That's gonna do it for this video though. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, smash the thumbs up button here on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel to stay up to date on all future videos. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next video.